Hello and very warm welcome to our YouTube video tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to create a multi-component picker in Swift. So just open up your Xcode, create a new Xcode project. We are going to use Xcode 9 for this. Select a single view application, name it multi-component picker, language is Swift, press next, save it. multi component picker and press create so xcode will generate a single view template for our project and let's start off on main dot storyboard here we will track ui picker okay and then we will give it a constraint constraints and here it goes and then a UI label and we will it align it center and horizontally okay now go to view controller.shift here first we will create an IB outlet IB outlet we where multi component picker is of type view I picker view and then an IB outlet for our label we where So here we have our outlets defined. Now connect this. Double tap on view control right tap and then just drag and hold this, drag to it picker and this is our label. It is our label and here it's gone. Now For this we will say our data source for our picker multi component picker dot data source equals to self and we will also specify that our view controller will specify your data source and press command and tap here jump to destination it will go to the main class here we will see the two data source methods just copy it avoiding the public part and grab and here we will create Okay, so for the time being, we will return it here too. And because we are using multi components, so we have two components, and here we will return five for the time being. So here you can see this is the title for row this is the delegate method so we need to specify these two and here and also the did select row method okay just copy my system is a little slow so it's not showing the color also we will specify ui picker view delegate and here we will specify multi component picker dot delegate equals to self And here 
we will implement the delegate functions and yeah so here for the time being we will say twelve So here it is. Now if we run at this point, So here our, our app starts. And here you can see the pickers. This is one picker, this is the second. So this is the multi-component pickers. So here what we have to pass a uh, number of components and the number of rows in components and then the value the title of the row in the components and this method will select which picker is selected so, so suppose if we write lbl this will not say first we will create an array where countries array of type string array and then then the population is of type or you can say uh, states okay so here we will fill up those countries array the append Country where dot append new element is string and we will type USA and here we will take UK and India and Australia. Okay, now same we will pass states array dot append new element suppose we will take run will we are not taking the states suppose it contain 12 and next one contain 6 this contain uh, 24 suppose and it contains this really contains only five states okay so here we have two components one component represent country and the second component will select the number of states okay so here we are we will pass number of components still two because we are displaying two components in our picker and here the number of rows in component for this we will do a little high if component is equals to equals to zero means it will return our countries returns countries array dot count and if the it's the second component pick or second pick so it will return the stairs count okay and same here copy it and paste here we will say it's the row because we are returning its string it's accepting the return value as string and we are we are having errors of string type and here we will same yeah 
states so this is a very common example by taking two different arrays so now let's start and run the app Oh sorry, it's mistake. This is an array because the index is out of bound because we didn't pass here states dot count because we I forgot to pass because if if we pass countries array count we have to pass state array count. Let's start again. So here you can see our first component contains the countries and our second contains the number of states. Okay, now in order to select those values, we have to write our code here lbl dot picker selection dot text is equals to countries array at row as states at row okay and we'll number of those states okay So here our label is on label as soon as we change this as 24 number of states 24 12 6 24 5 so it's changes as per our states okay I change UK and 6 12 24 it changes randomly and now you are saying why the values of countries is also changes because we didn't mention or we didn't tell the delegate that which component should display it here so whenever we change the value it also changes the value here suppose I select 24 it will say India has 24 number of states because it's selecting both it's detecting the index of both the components of the pick so here we will select if component is equals to zero then suppose we will select where state is equal to or say country and then we will say country is equals to this much and else same for the state state number and we will say state number here and okay now here we will put state number and country so now let's start and run the app and here so let's change UK has number of states because blank and has states so now India has states India has states 24 has 6 has 6 so here because we are passing that as we are 
telling the string that it should be blank here that's why it's printing that this kind of stuffs but USA has number of states because the strings becomes empty and same here the country becomes empty so it has five number of states for this what you can do either you can set it to by default uh, that picker view dot selected row in components zero and same here that picker view in component one Oh, sorry selected row it's just returning the row in component zero so we need to string and we will pass here countries array because we need string and selected row and same here states and here so now let's run and see what it does. And here, UK has 12 number of states, India has 12 number of states. Now if I change 6, 24 and 5, so you see that it doesn't change the countries because this specifies that so if I change 24 US has 5 number 12 number of states because we specify here our country should be countries array the selected picker value so here here in our component 0 which row is selected that is the 0 row and in picker it's like the zero row so it tells the picker it gets the value of selected rows in the components pause if I put the breakpoint here and then make it it so I move the first component to the UK so here you can see that it said that the selected row in the component is UK and the state number is 6 okay so it's said here we also mention and here so if we don't need we can also comment it out because as our speaker is already returning us the selected row so let's see what happens here it's a 12 number of states UK has India has that's so India has 24 5 24 6 12 so suddenly look you now you can see that with this line of codes we can save so much of time okay or you can say there are different ways of doing this earlier we are passing here this is so here in this tutorial we learn how to create a multi-component picker view this is a very simple tutorial given to you if you like this tutorial then please do share our video and like the video and if you have any question then please feel free to comment in the video section and we will reply as soon as we can thanks for watching have a nice time ahead Wife on now.